AMD Ryzen 7 3700X Review AMD's third-generation Ryzen CPUs exceeds the former first and second-gen models, with faster clock speeds and more cores, making the Ryzen 7 3700X one of the most superb CPUs for gaming. The excellence of Zen 2 CPUs is so glaring that AMD barely needs more upper-level processors. Its underrated 3700X is more than capable of running the show and doesn't require huge incentives at the negotiating table. For those computers with budget limits that cannot fully settle on acquiring 3900X, the 3700X makes a dependable QB capable of shorter passes, modest gains, as well as tossing deep when necessary. When it comes to playing video games on your computer, there is barely any distinction between the 3700X and 3900X. In truth, they are essentially identical for gaming and you should overlook the slightly faster 3800X that costs more. Getting ahead of though, maximum boost clocks on the 3800X are only 100 MHz higher than the 3700X. However, Predicted guaranteed clocks are potentially 300 MHz higher. Realistically, the 3700X normally operates above the minimal clock speed nowadays, particularly when doing smaller to average tasks. If you do many 3D renderings or video encodings, upgrading to the Ryzen 9 3900X makes more sense. But if not then 3700X is an excellent pick. All benchmarks that follow were conducted with the latest Windows May 10, 2019 update, up-to-date drivers, and BIOS firmware. To make all CPUs as equal as possible in testing, a high-speed DDR4-3200CL14 memory with XMP memory profiles enabled was used. This is not how some other sites conduct testing but is considered a light or easy form of overclocking. All modern CPUs were able to manage the higher memory speeds without issue. As with other Ryzen processors, couldn't complete extensive overclocking tests on the Ryzen 7 3700X since it doesn't provide many benefits. Even while enabling precision boost overdrive, the highest all-core clock increases are around the 200 MHz mark but commonly stay in the region of 1-3%. to The times when you could rate substantial outcomes from overclocking your CPU have become more distant. For example, Intel Intel's Core i9-9900K can only achieve an extra 400 MHz versus its stock rate, and AMD's CPUs are just an extra 200 to 300 MHz definitely not captivating. This is both a positive and a negative of amplified rivalry in the market. The third generation AMD components were tested in the MSI Meg X570 godlike motherboord. For main storage, an Orison Gen 4 2TB SSD was employed alongside a GeForce RTX 2080T Founders Edition graphics card. The Ryzen 7 3700X's gaming prowess can be gauged by the following tests. All 10 games are tested in 1080p Ultra settings, with each analysis performed multiple times to secure the accuracy of results. By doing so, calculations are more useful compared to merely noting down minimum FPS or solely focusing on the 97 percentile. With the same RTX 2080D at 1080p resolution, the results of 10 games show that the 3700X and 3900X are almost equally matched. The 9700K actually surpasses all other gaming performance scores evidently, hyper-threading isn't always advantageous for gaming. Subsequently, the 9700K runs 10% faster than the 3700X, while the 9900K is 9% swifter. This is when running games on 1080p with the fastest GPU currently accessible. The gap would be greatly decreased at 1440p and terminate at 4K resolution. Essentially, the 3900X won't be able to beat out Intel when it comes to gaming performance, even the older i7-7700K sometimes prevails. When talking about the 3900X, it is essential to keep in mind what these CPU benchmarks cogently mean. 3D rendering and Y-Cruncher are superb resources for utilizing all available CPU sources. However, these are tools that a massive majority of individuals will never use. 